Hello everybody, Arsharp3 here, and today we're going to do the last mission of Halo 4 Midnight in just over 17 minutes. So right before you get to this first arch thing, you're going to go up on an angle as you boost, and we're going to go out of the map here. Um, it's a bit tricky, but uh, I got it on like the second or third try, so once you get it the first time, it's pretty easy. And uh, we're just going to go along this little section here. Once you get underneath the... Um, I guess the shield of the didact there on the side, the soft kill barrier will go away. I'm a little sick right now, so if I sound a little nasally, don't mind that. Just have a, a little bit of a cold, that's all. So right now you can't see anything past the, um, this like slip space shield type thing. It's because it needs to load, so we're going to go farther down here, right where the map starts to curve. And we're going to hit this load zone up here, right by kind of like these, um, there's like 10 or 20 pillars sticking out right here. And we're going to go hit this, you're going to see loading, and we're going to turn, and there's the whole rest of the map. And now we're just going to uh, fly across. So, if you don't feel like going through the, um, I guess, tunnels or caves of the didact ship, uh, just do this. Now, in Halo 5, I don't know if there's going to be such tricks like this, because in Reach and other campaign missions, there was actually things outside of the campaign map. Like, for example, there would be a ship where I'm flying right now. It's just because since Halo 4 has such good graphics, it kind of, like, the Xbox didn't... I don't know what the right word is. Xbox couldn't render an entire ship. They could, they could only render the map. There's nothing outside of them. So I don't know if there's going to be tricks like this in Halo 5. So I guess take advantage of it while you can now. Now, when the ship becomes invisible like that, I think it's close to where the map ends, where nothing is spawned. And if you go too far out... It'll just die. Like, nothing will happen. It'll just go back to the last checkpoint. So, I think that's what that is. So, you want to go to the second pillar here, right where these, like, kind of bar bottom, like, pillows are. You're going to go in between there and you're going to see a little loading zone. You don't want to go, you don't want to come underneath it too early, or else there's um, an invisible barrier right there and you will die. So, we just hit the loading zone and the rest of the map's going to spawn. Now, in order for us to get back into the map we're gonna have to deload this section I'm flying over right now and we're gonna have to go back in the back now every th all like this entire trick of going out of the map and skipping this broadsword section was thanks to RC Master so thank you to him because he was a big help with the speed run and believe it or not I have not seen anyone else do midnight on just legendary I've seen lasso but a lot of people say the lasso is a lot easier than just legendary difficulty if you're doing mythic difficulty with just no deaths which this is a single, single segment which I'm pretty happy about but um so yeah this is a world record I mean there's no official world records because oh we just hit the loading zone there anyway there's no official world record because there's no um carnage report on campaign and there's no theater mode for it so I really hope they do bring that back in Halo 5 so that there can actually be legitimate world record tables again so like I said we just despawned that I almost died here that would have been bad we're going back into the map here, and we're basically at the end. So we skip that entire part, and we're d and we're into this kind of big chasm area in just under four minutes. So uh, yeah, that's a really easy way to get by on any difficulty. Now sometimes when you go back into the map after I deloaded it there or despawned it, sometimes the doors will be closed and you won't be able to get back in. I don't know why that happens. I tried out a, bu a bunch of different methods and it didn't. I really couldn't figure it out, so sometimes just luck of the draw, I really don't know. If you guys can figure that out, let me know. So then we have to kill this one, like, orange ball type thing, and there's four of them which are powering the, I guess, cannons. I don't really know how that affects the infinity shooting, um, the didact ship. It doesn't look like they're really shields for the ship, it just looks like they're guns. So I don't really know, but I'm just doing it because, I guess, Cortana told me to. So there's, a. Uh, Two more to go? Yeah, two more to go. Thanks, Cortana. And we're gonna kill this, and then we're down done with Rally Point Alpha. So if you want to skip the whole broad tour section and just work on the um, fighting part, like in the ship, that's what I did when I first started practicing. I just did a section by section. You can go to Alley, Rally Point Alpha, and you'll start right here. Um, now the reason why you didn't see like a little skip icon on the top left is because I did um, edit that out just to be a little quicker, but the main reason is I recorded the cutscene on uh, when I was 
doing the run because I want to do a project of um, like how Master Chief would ca play the campaign and I'm going to do all the cutscenes in order with all the speedruns so it's kind of like how Master Chief would really play it since you know he's such a badass and whatnot. So uh, I'm using the hologram here. Usually this knight will pop a watcher and the weird thing is if you hit him the, the watcher just pops out of nowhere so take him down. Some people like to pick up the scatter shot to kill this knight. I just use the saw. Now you have to make sure, oh, he just ran away, so I just kept going, he, anyway, you have to make sure you kill these two watchers before they spawn crawlers, watchers die with three hits to the head, and I think it's six hits to the body, maybe, seven, we're gonna throw a little hologram here, it's very important that you run behind the crate like I am now, or else that scattershot guy will destroy you to pieces sometimes, believe it or not, that, that method is actually pretty high percentage if you use the hologram correctly, so, um, no, you're not good for anything, Cortana. Sorry. So we're going to pick up a light rifle here, and we're going to go with the two primary, the battle rifle and light rifle. I try to kill both watchers here, but sometimes one to get away. If you do kill both, then that means that no crawlers are going to be spawned in the next section. So it's just, I didn't have to do it, but it does save a bit of time. It does come back to bite me later. So I'm looking for him right now, and I can't find him. So, in this next section, I'm going to be slowed down a bit by those crawlers, which not not too big of a deal, but that's definitely one thing I would fix. Right here is a transition, and we're just going to kill these couple watchers. Um, I pick up the binary here, because um, I use it, I think that's the fastest way to take down the knights. Like I said, since it's a single segment, I'm trying to do high percentage um, rouse. Uh, Naked Eli did a segmented run where he just ran through the entire thing. And believe it or not, his run was only 30 seconds faster than mine, so if you really work at it, instead of just running through, saving, and quitting every checkpoint, you can, it, you know, it feels good. It feels good to do signal segment. So like I said, these these crawlers here are going to slow me down. I could have been already through the portal by now, but you know, that's okay. Probably would have saved me 10-15 seconds. He runs away, so I just say forget him. And now we're just going to make a break for the portal. I stumbled here, but I still made it. Sometimes that incineration cannon guy will shoot you or I'll hit you. Like I said, if you kill both the scattershot knight and the suppressor knight, most of the time it will work. Right here I'm going to get incineration cannon and battle rifle, and I pick up those plasma grenades. Not for any particular reason, just in case. The only grenades that really matter are the frag grenades, because I'm going to use them later on the last tower to uh, skip a section with the knights. So we're going to backsmack him, shoot him with the instant cannon, and... Like I said, there is a faster way to do this, but it's very high risk. You just run past, you hit back, smack the guy, and then you just start running. Basically, do the same route I'm doing, but you don't kill any enemies. You just run. I like to get my shields back here, if I'm not already back, and I try to shoot the guy with the instant cannon. I might know I got him it, inches from death there, but I like to shoot the guy with the instant cannon so he doesn't shoot you on the way up to the portal. Here, we're just going to shoot this binary rifle guy before he can get us. And sometimes instant cannon will kill those other two crawlers, sometimes not, but... So right here I'm going to pick up the auto sentry, and I'm going to reload the instant cannon, and I'm going to leave it here. Once again, going with the two primaries. And right now, there's going to be, I think, 12 watchers that come down. Now they spawn up on the walls in the very back, and you can try to shoot them as they're spawning down. But it's a lot easier, and the light rifle is way more accurate if you wait for the reticle to turn red and for them to get into range. And it's really important that you do save your ammo because if you're wasting two or three shots to every crawler, you'll run out before the end. That's another reason why I have the battle rifle is because I can spare some light rifle ammo, which is very important. So after I hope I didn't count, maybe it wasn't 12. I don't know. We're gonna get more ammo, and I start coming down from these pipes here. Oh man, I feel sneeze. Maybe not. So if they're far away, I use a light rifle, and as they start to get closer, I switch to the BR to try to save some light rifle ammo. Now after a couple minutes, they're going to start coming down from the right again, where they originally were. So like I said, once they get near, they jump down, I start to use the BR just to save ammo, and plus I am a bit better, more accurate with the BR. Just because that's the weapon I use in matchmaking, and that's the weapon I like the most. So there's going to be three of them here, and then we're going to start coming down from the pipes again on the walls there. I like to stand right up here in front of um, that little portal, because I think you can get the best angle on both pipes from there. 
A thing about watchers is you do want to aim a bit down from their head because if you hit them on the top of the head, sometimes it doesn't necessarily click in or it doesn't actually get the headshot. So I always try to aim a bit lower, especially when they're coming down the wall like that. So there we go. We got those other four from that side. Pick up the instant cannon, get more light rifle ammo, and we're going to get Cortana after we get these two guys. Now, there is a way if you stand on the box with a gravity hammer and you throw, with this is without cowbell, throw a grenade on the ground and you're going to whack the grenade with a gravity hammer while you're on the box. But the problem is, unless you knock yourself straight through the portal without touching the ground, normally the fall will kill you. So it's very, very, very hard to get that jump on the first try. So I decided to stick just with a, a high percentage strategy and we're just going to pick off as many of them as we can. And you can do this a little quicker. Basically, once all the crawlers group up in the area, you're going to shoot them with the instant cannon. And as long as it's not in the pathway, you can run through. Crawlers, t t yeah. crawlers give the most damage when they immediately attack you. So, if they're not in the middle, or you can jump over them, Roman, you can run through. It's just when there's five or six of them in the middle, and two or three of them hit you, and then your shields are gone, and then you die pretty quickly. So you have to clear them out first, that's all. So right here, we're just kind of floating through the little gravity. I thought this was definitely a really beautiful part of Halo 4. I actually did really enjoy this section. It opens up, and you see Earth, and uh, then you see the composer kind of come together. And this takes about 30 seconds, this whole part, so coming from a speedrunner's point of view, I thought it was just kind of stinky, but the first time I played through, I was definitely awestruck by the beauty of it. So we're going to land here. Now, when every, every one of these rivals, if you jump right before you land, you get like kind of like a skip jump. I don't know the proper term, but um, yeah, so we're going to get light rifle and we're going to get a binary. Some people use instant cannon, I just like binary because it's the quickest way to take out watchers, one shot. And the thing with instant cannon, since it's a little bit slower, sometimes they dodge it, sometimes they move. The, to the left is the platforms with all the night, and to the right is all the crawlers. So we're going to go to the right here, and we're going to do the crawlers first. Because since we're going around in this direction, which would be counterclockwise, there's um, a little nade jump, which helps you skip a majority of the night section. So that's why I went this way. Now you can do the nade jump with the crawlers, which I did try, but the only problem is, since there's a lot more crawlers than there are knights, like, in comparison to each section, uh, when you jump up there, all the crawlers spawn right away, and it's very, very hard to survive up there, where, where there's only like seven knights, eight knights maybe, in the one section, so you can actually uh, sneak behind them and get all the way behind the instant guy, which you'll see in a little while. So, I found the fastest way is just to take out all these watchers as fast as you can. I thought this shot hit. That looked like it hit to me, but I guess not. So, take out the watchers first, because the less watchers, the less crawlers. And that's all we need for the binary rifle. And we're going to get the instant cannon here, which most people don't know about. And we're going to hop up here, kill, I think, one crawler yep we're gonna back smack one and shoot one and bam we're gonna hit him we're gonna activate this light bridge and like i said since there's so many crawlers doing an age upon there is very it's like almost impossible to survive so the fastest way is just to run back over here pop the auto sentry and just pick off as many as you can you only need one incineration cannon shot at the by the time you kill all the crawlers because there is an instant cannon knight so you can use a lot of instant camo to incineration ca not camo ammo to take out the crawlers if you want. I use it on the um, the watchers too, just because they are very very powerful. I mean they don't kill you quick, but just the fact they can revive knights, they can put up shields, they can do all these crazy things. So I take him out, and then there's the knight I took out, and I really should have just used instant cam instant camo. Why am I saying camo? Instant ammo on these guys but no big deal take them out now you do not need to get the nice ammo you just need to have one shot so they're reloaded because up here on this part most people don't know there is ammo crates full of instant cannon light rifle binary anything you want so 
the way I'm doing it is I'm just reloading and I'm running through and picking up ammo as fast as I can. I'm taking out this one crawler here. There's another one behind the barrier which I wanted to get, but he didn't pop out. So now I'm just going to make a run for it. There's a lot of little ledges here, so you have to make sure you get up to the very top one, which is right there, and then you're good. So instant camos, ammo, jeez, is right there, and light rifle's right there. And we just skip that entire section. I was a little slow in the beginning getting up to the top, that's why I have no shields, but normally if you're quick, it's very low risk. So we're going to take out this knight here. Here's the mage up I was talking about. We're going to pop the auto sentry to distract the fire, because you need full shields for this, or else you're going to die from the nade. Here's the nade jump, and we're up there, and we're up here, oh I missed the jump, we're up here, and like I said, knights don't spawn yet, you have to walk to the very edge of the ledge and then they spawn, whereas on the crawler tower, once you get up there they spawn. So we're going to take out the one in the middle, one here, you want to get to the other side first before you reload, shoot this scattershot guy, back smack the instant guy, make sure you go on the left side of him or else sometimes it won't work, and then from here, we're just going to use the instant cannon on the rest. And I'm pretty sure 343 put the perfect amount of knights in because with all the instant um, ammo used on these guys, you have just enough to take out the next section. So there we go, you have to take them all out before the um, uh, little terminal comes up. So you're going to do that, and then the didacticide, so now is a good time to start frying. Um, wow, what's the town name? I can't remember. So here we go, the didact decides. Alright, I guess now time to start frying people. Actually, I did stop the clock uh, right when the cutscene begins. And I, I guess technically I should have stopped it after you blow up the nuke, but most speedruns I've seen have stopped it then. And since there is no official timetable for speedruns, I just stopped it there. But, uh,. Either way, it's a world record because, like I said, no one has done legendary single segment of this mission, surprisingly. They've done last, so it's not legendary. So right here, we do have enough for all three, but I ended up using the scatter shot on the last guy just because he was a little close to me and I wanted to play it safe. So we're going to get this second guy, and I was going to use the incineration, can yeah, incineration cannon, but he was a little close, I wanted to play it safe. And then we are done with Midnight. And we're going to get to the cutscene in like 7.30, 17.32, which is uh, it's pretty good. Um, so thank you guys very much for watching. I'll leave you with a cutscene and the ending. And uh, hopefully there will be uh, more to come. I plan on finishing the entire campaign. And then I'll put together that video of... Uh, like how Master Chief would play through. So sorry for the nasally voice guys, I'm going to leave some links to some other speedruns I did after the uh, cutscene, I blow up the nuke, and uh, have a good day guys. You persist too long after your own defeat. Come then, warrior. Have your resolution. So misguided. Humanity's imprisonment is a kindness. In that case, you won't mind if you return the favor. Your compassion for mankind is misplaced. I'm not doing this for mankind. 